What is going on to the AMC stock group? In today's video, we are going to be talking about the AMC and how there are a lot of short sellers. Now, before we get into how many short sellers there are, how many shares people are shorting, and how much this accumulates to in terms of dollar value, what I first want to say is that I believe that you guys have one more day, which would be July 20th, to click the link in my description to join Webull, right? To take your shares from Robinhood, which is what I did. I had a lot of brokerages. I had three of them. One of them was Robinhood and I had a lot of AMC shares, but I decided no more because it is actually getting quite dangerous at these levels. I do not want Robinhood or Citadel trying to capitalize off of the fact that I am not buying AMC shares right now because let's say one day I decide not to buy AMC shares. I do not want that day to affect the future for AMC stock and the movement for this stock. So therefore, I just don't want them to try to capitalize off of any inactivity for buying AMC stock. When quite frankly, I always dollar cost average into AMC as much as I can, but it's just some days the price is pretty stagnant or it's just consolidating. So therefore, there's no reason to buy any AMC shares on that day. And so I decided to make the switch from Robinhood to Webull. And so if you guys want to also make the switch from Robinhood and Webull, I believe you only have until tomorrow, July 20th, where you only have to deposit $5 to get two free stocks. And I think after July 20th, it's going to be required that you deposit 100. So obviously, if you decide to sign up with a link below until July 20th, you guys will be getting so much more monetary value than ever before with Webull. And you guys will also be helping the movement in the future by preventing future conflicts. We really do not need any future conflicts with AMC stock, which is right now what we are kind of enduring. What do I mean by that? AMC Entertainment short interest ratio in short volume. Okay, so the current short volume is 75.4 million shares. And to be exact, the number is 75,480,000 shares. That is how many shares are currently shorted. And I do not think that this is 100% accurate because this was in around the time of June. And so right now we are in the July month. So therefore all the numbers have yet to be computed and they have not been computed yet because July has not ended yet. And so we can compare this to the previous short volume, I'm guessing from last month, which is around 85 million shares. And the reason for that is because last month, which was June, which makes a lot of sense because there were so many times where AMC stock could not break a lot of key resistance levels. And I'm gonna be talking about those key resistance levels in the technical analysis in just a few seconds. And I always said, this is quite ironic how we are not able to break this resistance level. And it was definitely not AMC, the retail traders fault, right? They had no fault at all. It was a lot of hedge funds and it was the fact that no one wanted this stock to go above a lot of resistance levels. It was not a coincidence and it was quite ironic. Now, anyways, if we go to the dollar value for how many people total have short of this stock and how much these short interest shares decide to add up to, the total monetary value of all these short interest bets would be roughly $4.28 billion. That is how much money has been flowing into the stock to the downside, meaning that a lot of people will make their money when AMC stock decides to go to the downside. But wait, guys, there is good news. Why does this matter? Well, obviously, if there is $4.28 billion that a lot of people are betting against AMC stock right now, what does that mean? Before we explain why this is actually so good for us and why it is so good that we have a lot of short interest right now and that there are 75.48 roughly million shares that AMC currently has, we can see the trend lines real quick about how quarter one to quarter two. To understand these trends is also really good because this will also relate back to the concept of shorting. And so in the beginning of February, we saw that there was only $270 million worth of people betting against AMC stock. This number has exponentially risen over the past few quarters. It is now, it went from $270 million and now it is at $2.67 billion. This was in May. Then it went to $5 billion, and right now we have a slight decrease to $4.28 billion. This is still a lot of money, so do not get me wrong. And so the percentage of float over time, the float interest was extremely high throughout 2020. And so the higher the percentage, that is going to be the best. So 34.63% in the beginning of 2020. Also in July, it was around 32.55%. Now, if you were to compare that to the 17% and the 15% in 2021, there's obviously a difference, but what does this difference mean? All that means is that right now there are more shares of AMC stock than there were before. That's why the short interest has decreased over time. When the short interest is relative to the float, 
or in other words, it is the ratio between the short interest or the betters of AMC stock compared to the float. That is why you see a downtrend from 2020 to 2021, because as I said before, the short interest was increasing. But why all of a sudden does it say that it's decreasing as a trend line? And it's really not because AMC stock, remember guys, they did dilution. And when you have dilution, there's actually more shares available in the market. So therefore, when there were less shares available in the market, this was around 2020, the short interest was higher than it is right now. Right now, the short interest is going to be seemingly lower, and that is only because there are much more shares available in the market, or in other words, the float has increased for AMC stock, and when the float increases, it is quite difficult for the short interest to be near the same level of the float percentage for AMC stock. And this is not just for AMC stock, it's for a lot of stocks. And AMC stock does not have a 95% short interest. I think the short interest on AMC stock is around 18 to 20%. So therefore these percentages make a lot of sense. And now I'm gonna be talking about the concept of short selling because I still believe that not everyone understands how significant of a concept this is and how this will truly benefit AMC stock in the future. Now, what do I mean by that? So you guys know that right now AMC stock has around 75 million shares that need to be bought back. But what does that mean? Well, when you first buy a stock, the first thing that you should be doing is you should be clicking the buy button. However, what a lot of these people that are betting against AMC stock, what they're doing is instead, the first button that they're clicking is actually called the sell button. And so with the sell button, that is going to initiate their short sell position. And so instead of clicking the buy button first, what they actually do is they click the sell button first. Now we all know that there are 75 roughly or 74 roughly million shares of AMC stock that are being sold. So 74 million. And this is going to be roughly, right? Because we do not actually know exactly how many shares are being shorted right now. And so therefore, with all of these shares that equate to billions upon billions of dollars, this needs to be bought back. Otherwise, the people who spent billions upon billions of dollars will not be able to cash out on their position. Because right now, we all know that these people are making a lot of money. I mean, the stock went from $51 a share, even higher to $72 a share, and now it is back down to around that $30 range. So therefore, they are going to close their position. This is called inevitability. They're not going to keep their short position forever. That would make no sense whatsoever. And it is actually quite dangerous for them. The people who are betting against AMC stock, because if they keep their 74 million shares forever to the downside, what happens if AMC decides to break out of the $38 level? What is going to happen is that is going to create fear on their position, and they're going to close out just because they made enough money and so they want to close out and then they want to day trade another stock or they may want to bet against another stock not AMC because the potential to capitalize off of the fear the potential to capitalize just basically because the downtrend for AMC stock is over if it were to break that $38 resistance level so ultimately that is the concept of betting against the stock I will make more updates for AMC stock for I see the share price going tomorrow which is July 20th which is also a Tuesday so thanks again for watching guys I'll see you guys in the next video